everybody! Welcome back to a new video. My name is Melanie Josephine. I am the award-winning author of Love Life Simplified and today I want to talk to you about a very very important topic and that is that you actually can choose who you fall in love with. So most of us have been told from the media, from people around us, it is basically a phrase that's been going around for so, so long. And the phrase is, you can't choose who you fall in love with. And this phrase, it is not only disempowering, it is just simply wrong. And I want to explain to you in this video why it's wrong and how you can take your power back and how you can certainly fall in love with who you want to fall in love with. So, the reason it is completely wrong that you don't choose who you love goes back to, if you've been on my channel for a bit longer, you know that I always say, you create your love life, you create your life, but you also create your love life. And that I am a very big supporter of um, starting to create your love life by writing out who you want to attract, um, what qualities, what values, how that person um, acts in certain situations, just being very, very specific on paper and then reading that over and over again so that it is going into your subconscious mind. So why is this so important? The reason people used to believe, or actually a lot of people still believe, that you can't choose who you fall in love with is because they have not done the work on their own thoughts they're not aware of a lot of thoughts that they have and they don't know why they fall in love with who they fall in love with and for some people that doesn't matter because they just fall in love with a really um, lovely person who treats them really well but a lot of people are attracted to the wrong people and it causes them a lot of pain that they over and over again fall in love with people who it then doesn't work out with or who um, are simply not a good match or who don't treat them with respect. I mean, there's so many things um, that happen out there that I'm not gonna go into in this video, but what I want you to understand is that because what we think leads to what we feel leads to then how we act this is exactly why we create who we fall in love with when you create the person who you want to fall in love with on paper and when you make sure you are connected to that list and that that list sinks into your subconscious mind because you read it every single day when you then meet the person, not only will you recognize that person, but you will also fall in love with that person because of what you've created. So if you've never created that list, if you've never got connected to, to that list and you think you want to be in love with somebody who loves you, who treats you well, and so on and so on but you your life is showing you that this isn't what's happening you keep falling in love with the so-called wrong people then this is the result of what you're thinking subconsciously because you haven't taken in you haven't you haven't put in the work to really look at what you're thinking to really sit with yourself quiet your mind and watch what you're thinking and looking at what is producing those results what are you thinking that's leading to you falling in love with the so-called wrong people so that is the first step that i would suggest you take or even if you don't want to take that step 
I mean, it would be really good to take that step, but let's say you want to skip that, you want to go right to the good parts, then go write that list and stay connected to that list and make the decision that you will not date anybody who is not the way that you've described them on the list. And maybe you think, well, even if I write that list and even if I stay connected to that list, could I not still fall in love with somebody who's not good for me? Well, that depends what you've wrote down on that list. Do you want to fall in love with somebody who respects you, who loves you, who's good to you? Then that's what you write on your list and that is what you stay connected to. Your brain only attracts what you are thinking. You, your brain is basically here to serve you. But if you're not aware of your thoughts, then your little computer up here is potentially working against you because you're not taking control. So whenever you say you've got no control over what you fall in love with, you let this little brain up here just go do about, um, just go about whatever mess there is up there and you're not taking care of, you're not cleaning up up there. And then you blame it on the phrase that you just can't choose who you fall in love with and you're always going to stay a victim. But if you want to be with somebody who treats you well, who you can have an amazing life with, then why not try this? Why not give this a go? Why not putting in the work? Stop being, stopping being the victim. Because you do have control over who you fall in love with. Never forget that you create your life and that you also create your love life. If you have any questions about this, please let them, please put them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to my channel for more videos and if you know anybody who really needs this video, please, please share it with them. And I'm sending you lots and lots of love from London and I hope you're having a, lo a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!